Doing your own coil overs is a very extensive job. There is cutting, welding, and precise measurements. If you don't feel comfortable removing the entire suspension from your car, this is no job for you. If you're lucky, my dad will try to explain things in a way that is comprehensible to other human beings besides himself. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, dude. Pause on this diagram. It really tells you everything Date. you need to know. I still really haven't started anything. I had to buy a tap and die and a smaller tap uh, after finding out that my stub axles, the bolt and the thread on the nut whoops, were uh, really bad. So I've already tapped and threaded that. Look how smooth it is. Uh, and then uh, one of these front I think it's um, one of those, I think. Maybe it's a different one. Anyway, I had to retap uh, one of these on the front strut. Um, you know, I can't have stuff like that being stripped. So I had to do that, and I had to buy a chop saw to cut my strut. So I've got the chop saw, bought a big tube cutter, but it just kept walking down the tube. Um, I think right here I tried to cut this one get to a starting point it just kept going round and round and round working its way down so you can't have that it's got to be got to be square so I bought a cheap chop saw tap and die to do all that stuff um, between that weather and my work schedule man I'm, I'm so sorry but this is this is how she sits still. Um, went ahead and got a uh, pneumatic uh, jigsaw. And uh, not this one, but I bought a uh, hole cutter for, for steel. Because I'm going to have to drill some inch and a half holes. Follow this diagram on this here. Inch and a half here, here, cut it out. And what you end up doing is you cut it all out so that your uh, ground control uh, camber plate will bolt up in there. So I've still got to do four of those, but I had to get that, you know, I, I've got this is all I had, and I think that's for wood, you know, and I've got to cut four of these suckers twice. So eight cuts. Um, I'm hoping it stands up, but, uh, this Harbor Freight bimetal hole saw kit. And it's only got one inch and a half, but it says it's for, for steel. So we'll see. Um, proportioning valve. Had to get a, a line and a couple compression fittings so that I can get that mounted inside. Uh... I think that's I think that's about it. I I had those things lingering that I can't just let go. I had to fix the threads and you know I've got to be prepared to, to cut all those uh camber plates. So that's where she's at. It's killing me. It's been, I guess, going on a month that I have not driven the car. Absolutely killing me. <laughs> this thing is such a blast to drive. It's, uh, it's just killing me. It's coming, but I'm trying to finish this. Uh, my first chop saw right here was a uh, Chinese made crap so I had to buy a freaking heavy duty anyway here's a stock strut in the front housing this is basically what you have to do in order to um, uh, to section your struts here's the stock strut uh, roughly it's at the top okay that this one's been cut so I'm just trying to show you so how do you get the measurement of how much needs to uh, come out of there, take your aftermarket strut for the front, this is an MR2 front, 
and what you're basically doing is you're cutting out so that you will arrive back at the same height so your threaded uh, top thing will um, thread in and hold that strut in place. So basically, you know, chop saw or whatever you've got, you've got to uh, cut that section out and then weld it back together. And I actually did one before I ran out of welding gas and decided to buy a new chop saw also. So here's one right here. Section. Uh, it's not finished welding, but I was putting the spring perch on. I don't think I need that brake line thingy, but I don't know. It's just going to stay on there for now. So with it, with it cut and sectioned, that new strut is going to drop in there so that the cap will hold it in place. That's that's the hardest part, man. Cutting, kind of camphor, I think is the terminology. The edges here to get a clean weld. Anyway, we're still rolling. One day, one day, I got them all uh, cut, welded, perches are on there. Uh, put a little paint on there. Anyway... I'm just I'm an amateur welder, but it's all um, pretty solid all the way around. You know what I mean? Weld tight. That's it. So I've got to um, I got to cut all of my camber plates now. Cut those, then I can put the uh, struts together. You know, no big deal, strut, put the spring on, bolt it on the top. I got the uh, strut spring compressor. And then take all my brakes off, put it in there after the camber plates cut, mount it in there, mount brakes, bleed it. Uh, proportioning valve. Gosh, I got to put that in there. So we're still, still rolling. That's going to be uh, tomorrow. These heavy-duty gloves, pretty cool. And they are really, really thick. Nice. Going through the old Dr. Pepper machine is really seeing the double X on this. What's the uh, temperature in there? Yeah. Oh. It's about 38. I got one side. Oh. I got one side done. Look at my eyes. Let me tell you something. I'm not, you know, super intoxicated. Last night, welding. Man, I think I burned my eyeballs. They have been red. And, um, oh, geez, just, <laughs> they hurt like crazy. So anyway, uh, I got this one cut out. I haven't done the other ones. What a headache. It, it, this is really, whoo, this is tough, man. But, uh, so I got that cut out. Got this front put on here. I just set this tire on there. I just wanted to make sure it all clears, you know. Just, um, but anyway, that's about it. Um, the section strut, this is all, it's all loose right now. Uh, needs to be adjusted up, you know, set on the ground. All of uh, all of this also is all uh, pretty loose. But um, so I just got that one side, man. The other four tubes are cut in section, but I think that's enough. My eyes are killing me, so I'm not gonna finish. I'm just gonna go ahead. And edit this and post it on YouTube and hopefully next weekend or throughout the week I'll work on the others. The hardest part for me is cutting out this camber plate area because I don't have the hole saw that I bought um, seemed to work okay but then uh, you know 
cutting this and cut just making everything in here and filing and then with my my rasp and the air tools and I, my air tank isn't really big enough to run grinding style air to uh, tools but anyway my eyes man it's all about the eyes oh I had slices of potato on my eyes last night because Google said the the starch would make it feel good for burnt eyes anyway that's it at all the snow Drifting is fun. See, if I was a professional, I think I could do pretty good. Look, missing a finger and everything. And I am just... Look at that drifting skill going on, huh? One more time, just because it's fun. Okay, let's get the work truck. Right here, do not cross the white line. All right, there's the white line. I gotta get over, gotta get over, gotta get over. Ah, oh, there's another white line. They don't even give you time to get over. Doesn't that seem like a potential uh, uh, law breaking? Even when you don't want to. Oh, let's run this red light just cause I'm gangster.